And now to a one and only exclusive tonight involving a shark attack in the Bahamas. The victim just underwent critical surgery in Hollywood, and that's where we find Local 10 News reporter Ian Margo for us. Ian, what's the latest? Lori Calvin, she underwent that surgery to save two of her fingers. She was hurt really badly in this attack, but her rescuers are saying they were really impressed with how brave she was through the entire ordeal. A gory end to a fishing trip for a woman down in the Bahamas. According to rescue crews, 34-year-old Maggie Ewing was spearfishing near Treasure Key Beach when she was bitten in the hand by a black tip shark, causing significant damage to her index and middle fingers. When I arrived there, she was laying on the floor with her hand elevated and uh, trying to control the bleeding. Fire Rescue Chief Colin Albury says Ewing is from the Boston area, but that her family has a second home in the Bahamas as well. He says she's an avid swimmer and fisherman, but never saw the shark coming as she ascended to the surface with a hogfish on her spear. That's when the black tip came out of nowhere. She, she didn't see it, her boyfriend didn't see it. Ewing was rushed by Trinity Air Ambulance to Fort Lauderdale and then to Memorial Regional Hospital in Hollywood, where she underwent surgery on Monday afternoon. Albury says Ewing is an experienced diver, and he tells us this was just a tragic accident, saying the shark was trying to get the fish, but instead got her hand. It's just one of those things and it, it happened, you know, and it can happen at any time. We, we must learn to respect the sea when we're there. And we did get word just a little while ago, the surgery was successful. They are optimistic about her recovery and get this guys, during that surgery, they found there was a sharp tooth still inside of her hand. It has been taken out and sent out for analysis. She is now in recovery. We're live in Hollywood. Ian Margle, Local 10 News. Oh, lucky to be alive, Ian. Thank you.